Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be diving deep into the amazing Quizmaker plugin for WordPress. In this tutorial, we're going to cover topics such as creating quizzes with certificates, personality quizzes, flashcards, password protected quizzes, leaderboards, and much more. So whether you're an educator, business owner, or simply an avid WordPress user, this tutorial is going to be a game changer for you. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to create quizzes that not only educate but also entertain. And without wasting any more time, let's get started with this tutorial. The first thing we need to do is to log into our WordPress admin area. And then I have the plugin already installed and activated on my website. So um, in case you want to get the plugin, you can click the first link in the description below for you to get the plugin. So what you're just going to do now is to just navigate to Quizmaker once you've installed and activated the plugin. So just come to Quizmaker and then we're going to come to quiz category. So I like to do this first when I whenever I want to create quizzes with this plugin. So I'll first of all create categories for the quizzes we're going to be making in this tutorial. So first of all, we're going to be creating a personality quiz category and then we're going to be creating the WordPress quiz category. So um, let me do that right now. So I'm going to click on add new and then for this one, I'm just going to call it personality. You can put in a description and then you can change the category status, but everything is good as it is. So I'm just going to click on save and close and then I'm going to do the same thing for WordPress. All right. So we've created the categories we need for now. Now let's move on to create the question categories too. So it follows the same procedure. So we're just going to click on add new and I'm going to put in personality and then I'm going to put in WordPress also. All right. So we've created the categories for our quizzes and then our questions. So what we now need to do now is to create our personality quiz. So to create your quiz, we need to come to questions and here we're going to see some demo questions that we have here. For once we can do is just select everything and then we're going to charge them. So I'm going to be showing you how you can create a question. But to make this tutorial easy, I've already created some demo questions for you and then I've left the link for you to download those questions and then post them into your website for you to follow along easily with this tutorial. But then I'm still going to show you how you can create a question. So to create a question, let's click on add new. All right. So I'm just going to switch to my um, tab here and then we're going to be creating a personality quiz. What we're going to be creating now, the first question we're going to be creating is this. We're going to ask which activity do you enjoy the most in your free time? So I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste it right here. And now uh, we're going to add the answers for this question. So first answer we have here is called um, reading a book. And I'm just going to copy the remaining also exploring nature, solving puzzles and socializing with friends. And now the way um, this works for personality quizzes is that I will get to use the keyword. Now, for example, at the end of this personality quiz, we only have four personalities that we want to give to our users. So for the result one is going to be Sherlock Holmes. The result two is going to be Wonder Woman. The result 3 is going to be Gandalf and the, the result 4 is going to be Amion and Granger. So we're just going to scroll down. So for the keywords here, we want everybody that chose keyword A to be um, assigned um, Sherlock Holmes. And then we're going to make B for Wonder Woman. And then we're going to make C for Solving Puzzles. And then we're going to make D um, for the last fictional character that we have here. So in case any user comes to our website and then starts this personality quiz and then throughout the whole questions we're going to ask, let's say we ask in 10 questions and then the user chooses A like 8 times which happens to be the personality for Sherlock Holmes. At the end of the results, the user is going to get um, a fictional character of Sherlock Holmes. So that is how this personality quiz works. So for us to be able to move on to the next point, we just to the next stage, I will just need to tick one option as the correct answer it doesn't really matter so we're just going to scroll down and then under the question categories we're going to add it to the personality category and then um everything um looks okay as it is and then we're going to click on save and close so this is how you can create a question for your personality quiz and i'm just going to move on to import the questions that i have already created to make this tutorial faster so i've reported everything right there and then we can see we have about six questions here so now let's move on to create a quiz for this question so we're going to come here to quizzes and then we can see a demo quiz here also we can leave it and then let's just create our own quiz we're going to click on add new and then under the title, we're going to just give it, um, um, let's come back here and then let's copy this title. So which fictional character are you? I'm just going to copy this and then I'm going to paste that it as the title. And we can also add an image in case you want to put an image. And also you're going to put a description. Let's just say, um, this is a personality quiz. All right. And then we're going to come to the categories and then select personality. And we can automatically create a post for this quiz instead of um, having to copy the short code and then um, creating the post manually. So we're just going to tick this option and then we're going to add our question. So we're going to click this add questions. We can click this one and then we're going to just come here to select all these questions which are for personality quiz and we're going to add them to this quiz. Now all the questions have been added. There are some few settings that we need to um, check before we can actually start the quiz now we need to come to settings and then you can just see several options that are available for you to you know check for this 
um, option for this plugin so we can just scroll down everything we need to do is actually looking good but we can just scroll down and confirm whether an option is not ticked so we're looking for something that says show correct answer all right so this is it it says show correct answer we're going to make sure that this is not ticked all right and then we're going to scroll back up and come to result settings and then once we get to when we come to result settings we're going to scroll down and then we're going to tick this option that says hide score because this is a personality quiz and then there's no point there's no score we want to award to our users and then we also have to scroll down to a point where it says intervals so we're just going to see okay we have here intervals and then we're going to change the intervals from by percentage to by keywords and now as you remember the other time i said the first one is going to be for Sherlock Holmes, the second one is going to be for wonder woman i'm just going to come back here to copy the text here so the results one is going to be this and then i'm going to paste it here the results two is going to be for wonder woman i'm going to copy and then paste it right here now to make this more engaging we're going to add image to each of these um results and we're going to click on add image so i'm going to just put the image here real quick all right so i've added um images to all the answers now let's check other options to see whether everything is looking good now we can come to limitation of user we're going to come down to this um one later on in this tutorial and then user data also we're going to check this out later on in the course of this tutorial and everything looks okay for a personality quiz now we're going to click on save and close now our quiz has been created now let's come down to posts and then select all posts now this is the quiz we just created now we're just going to view the quiz and we're going to open it in a new tab now as you can see it says which fictional character are you this is a personality quiz i'm going to click on start so it says which activity do you enjoy the most in your free time i'm going to just choose i'm um, reading a book uh, what is your favorite type of movie i'm going to choose action which um quality is most important to you as a friend loyalty and as you can see sherlock holmes is already taking the lead what is the ideal vacation destination i'm just going to choose beach results and what is your preferred superpower i'm going to choose super strengths and now we're going to select C results and you can see it says you are like Sherlock Holmes and this is just how a personality quiz works you can just try it out on your website and let your user know what you feel they are what you think um they they, they look like in a fictional character let's take let's take a step further into creating a real life quiz like a quiz that is meant for wordpress users or for mathematics students or for chemistry students or any other type of quiz that can be in form of an examination so let's go back to our wordpress admin area and here we're going to come back to quiz makers and under the quiz maker we're going to come to questions now just like the way we created the personality quiz we're going to create a question for um wordpress users this we're going to be creating a quiz that is meant for wordpress users so we're just going to click on add new all right so like like the personality quiz also i have a demo question that i've already created for this tutorial so i'm just going to be showing you how you can create a single a single question and i'm, I'm going to just import the remaining question for you just to speed up things in this tutorial so i'm going to come back to my docs and i'm going to scroll down and i'm going to copy this first question that says what is the most popular content managers management system in the world so i'm just going to copy it and then i'm going to paste it here and i'm just going to come down here to copy the answers i'm going to copy the first one which is wordpress I'm going to come back here to copy the second one which is Drupal. I'm going to come back here to copy the Joomla. And then finally the last one. Okay, we're going to add another field for the last answer here. And then the correct one is WordPress. I'm going to give it a point of 10. Okay, let's give it 10. All right, so we're just going to scroll down and then we're going to choose the category and we're going to give it WordPress. If you want to add tags to it, you can add tags and then everything looks okay as it is. You can also come to advanced settings and then you can have a question background image. You can have um, answer explanation when when um, you can decide to put an answer explanation. And also there are several options like question in, question explanation, message for the wrong answer, message for the right answer and also note text. We're not going to be diving deep into all these um options that we have here in case you want to use this it is self-explanatory you can just try it out for yourself now we're just going to come down here to save and close and that is it we've created a question for um our wordpress quiz now i'm just going to move on to the um to import the old questions that i have created already so i've imported the wordpress questions and then we're just going to move on to the quiz section and i'm going to create a new type of quiz so we're going to click on add new and this time around we're going to be giving it a title of probably understanding wordpress so let me just okay let's just say wordpress quiz and as usual you can add image you can add your description let me just say this is a wordpress quiz 
and then we're going to give it a category of wordpress and also okay i'm going to show you how you can create a post for the quiz manually this time around now let's add questions and then under the category we're just going to select wordpress and then we're going to show all entries now i'm going to select all questions under wordpress and we're going to add it to this quiz okay now there are several things we need to do before we can actually create this quiz so let me just show you first of all let me show you how you can schedule this quiz let's say you're actually working on the quiz a day before the um the time that you set for the quiz to go live and then you want to schedule it so you don't have to just manually come to make the quiz go live you can come down to settings and then you can scroll down to what you're going to say schedule quiz so it says schedule the quiz and then you can tick this option to select the start date for the um quiz and also the end date so you can select the start date for example today is june 7 and then you can set the quiz to um go offline again by the time it gets to june 10. so and also you can put the time and every other thing that you need to add and also you can decide to show timer and um also there are several things that you can add to it for example the pre-start message it says this quiz is going to be available soon you can add more text to this and then it says the aspiration message to this quiz has expired you can also customize this text and this is how you can schedule your quiz now i'm just going to tick this option off because of this tutorial i don't want anything to happen so um let's now see another option that says user data now let's scroll back up and come to user data now this is where you can collect some information from your users especially if you want to create this quiz for your guests like for example let's say um your website is not open for registration and then you still want to get information of those people taking your quiz now this is what you can do you can just come down to information form and then you're going to select um before quiz i recommend you put this form before your quiz and now we're just going to drag in this field for example we want to collect their names and then we want to collect their emails I'm going to make this required so we're going to tick these two boxes and here for the form title it says um let me just say please um fill this form all right so we're going to say please fill this form and there are several things we can also do here for example it says show information to logged in users for example i'm a logged in user i'm going to tick this option for for um this plugin to show me this form also to fill and then it says auto fill for logged in users we're not going to be checking this and we are pretty much done right here now we're going to be moving on to the certificates because if you want to create um if you want to create a quiz that is going to be a standard one you need to give out certificates for example if you want to be creating an exam for your institute and you want to use this quiz maker plugin um you need to create certificates for the quizzes that you're going to give to your users now first of all we're going to tick this option that says send mail to user after quiz complete completion now we're going to tick this option and then do you we're going to now set some up some settings here it says pass score now if you tick this option is going to send the email only if the user exceed this pass score so we're going to take this option i'm going to show you how you can actually um say this pass score in fact let's do that right now let's come down to result settings and let's scroll down um let's scroll down and then here we're going to see pass score now we're going to set the pass score for this quiz to 80 and then whenever somebody passes the call um the quiz you're going to see congratulations you passed and whenever somebody feels meaning the person got 79 or lesser the person is going to see oops you've not passed um try again now you can also customize this text also to make it fit into whatever you want to fit into and now let's go back to our user um to our emails and certificate section now we can just put in our image here and just say congratulations um congratulations you've passed and then you can add other piece of information that you want to send to users that pass this particular quiz for example let's say they are going to be eligible to take a higher level of quiz for them to you know advance and let's say you're running a type of competition you can just put your message here that this is the link for you to take the next quiz and then you are a step closer to winning the grand prize of whatever you set for the quiz um the quiz grand prize now we're just going to scroll down also and then we're going to take this option to to send the results to the user and just just leave everything as it is here now we're going to be moving on to the second option and this is the certificate aspect so let's say um you want to send the certificates to your users and the passcode we're going to um identify the passcode here so we're going to choose 80 as a passcode too and then we're going to see the certificate title this is this says certificate of completion it looks good at this is the certificate body also says this is to certify that username has completed the quiz and then this is going to show the quiz name with the score of the score and then the dates and this looks okay as it is you can um customize every other thing here for example you can make it landscape or portraits you can add background image and you can choose a frame and every other thing here 
now there is another option for you to send the email to admin but uh, we're not going to be taking this option in this tutorial so what we're going to do now is to just configure the emails so we're just going to select a from email so i'm going to be typing in the email address for this website so i'm just going to copy this and i'm going to paste it to reply email and then i'm going to type in the name also which is the wp bro so i'm going to copy this also and i'm going to paste it as reply to name and then the subject is just going to be so you can type in whatever you want to type in here so this is what i'm going to be using for this tutorial and okay now let me show you let's say you want to password protect this quiz or you want to just reduce the spam on this quiz let's come to limitation users as you remember the other time i said we're going to come down to these aspects later on in the course of the tutorial so let's come here the first option says maximum number of attempts per user you can tick this option and then you can specify the number of times that you want the user to attempt this quiz for example if you put in one that means users can just take this this quiz once and then you're going to detect the users by either using the ip the user id this is for people that are registered on the website and you can use cookie or ip and cookies so um you can also select passcode for attempt restriction and also attempt count for each user rule for example the administration can take the quiz maybe five times and data can take the quiz maybe three times a um let's say an author can take the quiz maybe two times and then you're just going to put a message here for example you've exceeded your um limits or whatever you want to put there and also some other options like redirect url and every other thing so we're just going to put the number of attempts let's use five let's use five and then you can just scroll down you can also make this quiz available for logged in users but i'm not going to be taking this option i want both the guests and also logged in users to take this quiz also you can make this quiz available for selected rules for example only administrators can take this quiz or only editors on your website can take this quiz so you're going to just uncheck this option and then also you can select only few users to take this quiz but on this website i'm just the only user here so for example you want to select just only the user on this website i'm just going to search for my name all right so this is my name and i can just select only me to take this course and let's say i have other users on this website i can just select their usernames also and then the course is going the quiz is going to be limited to them only so i'm just going to untick this option too and then limitation counts of takers you can also put this one there um, but in this tutorial we're not going to be um activating this and lastly you can just put a password for the quiz so we're going to, we're going to tick this and then the password is just going to be something like the wp bro and then uh, we're just going to take this option also and that's pretty much everything about creating a quiz in form of an exam so we're just going to click on save and close all right now so we've created our quiz and now we just want to create a post for this quiz so what we're going to do now is to just copy this short code so i'm going to copy this short code and i'm going to come down to posts and select add new so i'm just going to give it the title of wordpress quiz and i'm going to paste the short code right here okay now the short code is here and um let me just publish this post now the post has been published let's just right click and view this in a new tab all right so this is the quiz here so um let me just type in the username um the password rather and then it says the number of attempts remaining is two so we're just going to click on start and now we're just going to fill in the form okay this is my name and i'm going to, i'm going to put in my email address here all right so we can just click on next and start the quiz so what is the most popular content management system this is um the answer is wordpress um which of the following is the wordpress theme the answer is ocean wp okay the answer for this one is my sql and this one is true quizmaker is a robust quiz um, plugin this is true and then lastly the answer okay let me just intentionally miss this one let's just select um joomla and then let's click on see results so as you can see it says congratulations you passed the quiz and your score is 83.33 now let's check our email address for and uh, let's check our email inbox for our certificate so we're just going to come down to our email and let me just refresh my inbox and as you can see we have an email here and it says congratulations you are a genius let me just open it up it says congratulations you passed and it's going to give you the details for the results and then this is my name my email address the duration my score and all the questions that i answered and lastly it's going to show me the correct answer for the one that i missed and finally we can see our certificate here by the time i click on it it's just going to open up and then this is a certificate of completion this is satisfy that eben has completed the course and um, the quiz and then this is the quiz name with a score of 83.33 and then the dates 
so you can decide to download this and then just share it online that you've passed a particular quiz now this is how you can create um an exam and also add certificates to it so the next thing i'm going to be showing you how to create is what we call flashcards flashcards is a great way to test your student knowledge about something by showing the question on the first on the first card and then by the time they flip the card you're going to see the answer so um let me show you how you can create that real quick now let's come to um quiz maker and under this quiz maker we're going to come down to general settings so right here we're going to come to this place that she says um short code and uh we're going to scroll down and there we have it you're going to see flashcard settings now this is what we need to create a flashcard now you can see a short code here that says um to paste this short code into any of your post or pages now we're going to copy this short code this is the only thing we need to create a flashcard so i'm going to copy the short code and there are other settings that you can do like change the color for example we want to make the color um let's select something close to okay let me scroll back all right so let's change the color to something different let's use this okay so you can also put an introduction page where you take this you're going to type in something um yeah maybe welcome to this um flashcard quiz and every other thing i need to, um to type in here but we're not going to be using this and you can also randomize the questions that will be appearing on the flashcard but we don't need these um extra options for this tutorial so let me just sa um, save the changes remember to copy this let me copy it one more time and then save changes so the changes has been saved and now we just need to go to our page um let's go to pages and let's open this add new in a new tab while this page is loading up in a new tab we're just going to come to quizzes and here we're going to copy a short code for a particular quiz so we're just going to be using this short code and i'm going to show you the reason why we need this short code later on so let me just copy this and then let's come down to um our page and let's call this one flashcard so we're going to select this plus icon and then we're going to put in short codes and now we're going to paste in the short code we copy earlier from the general settings all right so this is the short code and now the reason why we copied um the quiz um short code also is because right here we see that we need to change the id and then we need to specify where we want the flashcard to generate the questions from either from the quizzes or from the category and now we're going to be using quiz which is the wordpress quiz so let me just highlight this and then the id for the quiz is um three so we can see it here it says ays quiz id is equal to you know three so we're just going to be copying all this all right so we're going to be copying all these and we're going to replace it with three okay so this is what we need to create a flashcard and now we're just going to publish our page so we're going to open this page in a new tab and there we have it you can see the color that we changed has been affected and by the time they read this question what is the most popular content management system in the world and they flip it they're going to see the answer is wordpress now they're going to move on to the next one um quiz maker is a robust quiz plugin um the answer is true and then they move on to the next one wordpress is open source true and then the next one um this one is my sql or previous my sql and this is how you can just create a flashcard on your website so moving on to the next part of the tutorial we're going to be creating um a scored quiz so to create the scored quiz you need to come to questions and then i already have about two questions created for the english um scored quiz and now we're just going to be adding a question more to it just for you to know the process of creating the question so we're going to click on this add new button and then i'm just going to type in a question um for example you can say what is the plural of child and here we're just going to scroll down and for the first option we're going to put the correct answer there which is children and we can just put in some other wrong answers here and the correct answer here we're going to tick it by clicking on this check mark and then we're going to assign it a point let's say five now what we can now do okay we can assign the question to a category two to the english category and then we're going to scroll down and we're going to come to advanced settings so right here we can just scroll down okay so here you can add a, a background image for the question and for the second option you can add an explanation for the answers we're going to disable okay we're going to enable this just to make it just to show you how this works now we're going to move down and then message for the wrong answer we can just say oops you missed five points so you can customize um each of these messages for different questions and then for the right answer we're going to say wow you got five um five points all right so we're just going to scroll down and then we're going to say save and close all right now so we need um to create the quiz and then we're going to come to these quizzes and um, um we're going to click on add new 
and I'm just going to give you the title of Scott Quiz for better identification. And you can also add an image and you can add description and every other thing. But if you remember the other time, I've already shown you most of the settings here when we were creating the quiz with certificate option. And now um, let me just create a post for this quiz automatically. And we're going to add the questions. So um, let me change the entries to 10. And let's select the English categories and also theory from uh, the WordPress category. And now let's select questions. Okay, now let's move to the settings and let's check some few questions um, some few settings that we can enable and now you can come down here to show correct answers and let's change this to probably two seconds and also show messages for right and wrong answers you must make sure this is during the quiz this is during the quiz and um let's keep scrolling down okay now let's say show question category and also let's enable um the life progress bar and let's turn on the percentage so they're going to know how far they've gone into the quiz and there are also other settings that you can enable if you feel you need to enable this for your users you can go ahead and enable that for example let's enable the timer for them to know the remaining time they have left and you can change this to 120 seconds okay um you can also decide to add some messages for the quiz and then um for the timer when the when the timer ends for your user when the timer ends and let's keep scrolling down and i don't think there's any other option we need to enable on this settings page now let's move to the results page to the results settings and here we can enable the progress bar also and also show the statistical average if you're interested in showing that and um let's keep scrolling okay so for the results message we can just we can just put um the message variables too for example we can put um let's put the category i think there's an option for the category okay we can put results by question categories and let's move to a new line and let's check maybe for example we can put the quiz time i'm just showing you how you can add variables to this quiz okay and let's check one more variable we can add under the message variable we can just add the user points let's add the user points and let me remove the spacing okay and for the pass call we can just set a pass call of 80 and then you can put a message for um the um for the quiz pass or the quiz fail and everything is looking good as it is so we can just come to the limitation of users and we we'll check this option before and also the user data we've checked that before emails and certificates so let's just save and close and now let's come to posts and select all posts and this is the quiz here let's click on view and open it in the new tab all right let's start the quiz uh this is children and this is x this is river and uh you can see the message that we add at the bottom and let's choose let's intentionally miss this one let's choose magento and um this one is going to be ocean wp and my sql so let's click on see results and you can see um the message you passed the quiz english you passed every question in english but you got 66 percent um in what's it called in wordpress and then your score is 83.33 percentage and you have this progress bar here too so this is how you can create a scored quiz to test the knowledge of your users um in some particular categories that you have on your websites and now let's move to the final stage of this tutorial so in this stage i'm going to show you how you can create a leaderboard for your website so in case you have a lot of users that take quizzes on your website and you want to um bring some sort of competitive um what's it called spirit into your users so they can see who is leading the leaderboard who is stopping in all the quizzes you've been creating on your website so it's it's actually advisable for you to have a leaderboard on your website so in case you want to create a leaderboard with this quiz plugin it is very simple what you need to do is to come to the quiz maker and then come to general settings so under the general settings at this tab here you're going to see short code so you're going to click on short code and then you can see the leaderboard short code for example this individual leaderboard is going to show the um what's it called the best students or the best users for a particular quiz and then when you scroll down you're going to see global leaderboard and this is going to show um the results for all the quizzes on your website I can also show the leaderboard by categories. So for this to tap, uh, for this tutorial, we're going to be using a particular quiz, and then I'm, we're going to be using the WordPress, the WordPress quiz. So to show the top students for the top um, WordPress quiz, we're going to copy this short code. 
So we're going to copy this short code and we're going to come to pages. You can use post and you can use pages, but for this one, we're going to be using pages and we're going to select add new. We're going to open this in a new tab. And okay, now back to the leaderboard settings. You can show how many users you want to show on the leaderboard. So you can put in five or let's say 10. And then you can group users, users by ID. If you use ID, that means only registered users on your website are going to be shown on the leaderboard. But we're going to be using email for this option. And you can also um, customize other settings like the colors, custom CSS, or other leaderboard columns. So we're going to save changes. And then we're going to come back here. I'm going to give this one a title of leaderboard. And I'm going to paste in the short code here. And now we're going to see some options here. For example, it says your quiz ID. So we're going to get this quiz ID and we're going to come back to quizzes. And I'm going to copy, okay, the quiz ID for WordPress quizzes um, theory. But I'm just going to copy all this short code and I'm going to um, hold shift and enter. And I'm going to paste the short code on a new line. So at the top, it's going to show this leaderboard. And at the bottom, it's going to show this quiz. So anybody that visits the leaderboard page and is interested in taking the quiz, they're going to see the quiz also at the bottom. So this is, that's the reason why i added the quiz short code on this page also now we're going to replace this your quiz id with three and then we're going to change the year to 2023 and we're going to change the month to june and then the date to let's say june 5. now we're going to change the hours and every other thing like minute and seconds to zero zero and the seconds also to zero And then we're going to add the two and this one is going to be 23 and the month also is going to be let's say july and the day is going to be um let's say july 7. and we can also put the hours there all right so i'm just going to save the changes i'm going to publish this page and i'm going to view it in a new tab actually let me just okay open in a new tab and here, um, before I actually created this tutorial, I had to take the quiz uh, by myself. So I created an account. I actually, I didn't create an account. I added a form and then um, I gave it a name of Samuel, Zeke, and then Eben. So as you can see, the person topping the WordPress quiz is Samuel with 100% score. And then it got 100% within 13 seconds. And this is the number of his points. And the next one is Zeke. 100% but 21 seconds that makes Samuel at the top and then the last person got 83% with 26 seconds and that makes um, the user number 3. If another person comes and the person got 100% within 5 seconds is going to come to the first position while Sam is going to come to the second position and then it's going to go on and on like that and if anybody as you can see it says I already passed the quiz if a new user comes here and then he or she wants to partake in this challenge he's just going to scroll down and he's going to start the quiz here and hopefully he's going to um, come up to the leaderboard so um, thank you for watching this tutorial um, if you're interested in getting this plugin like I said earlier the link is going to be down in the de description below so you can just click on the link and then you're going to get the plugin for yourself so so thank you for watching and i'm going to see you guys in the next one peace out